I'm Molly McHugh and this is DT Daily. Coming up, a killer first look at gameplay from Mad Max, Microsoft announces another Surface RT price drop, and a camera that shows you the world from a baseball's perspective. At E3, we saw a CGI view of Avalanche's vision for the brutal world of Mad Max. It left us, of course, wanting more. And now we get it. This is the first gameplay trailer for the next-gen console game, and it's full of cars, explosions, fighting, and everything you would hope for in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. The magnum opus, Max's Car, is the co-star of the game, and developers tell us it will be highly customizable for battle and exploring the game's massive open world. Mad Max has been in development for nearly two years, and Avalanche plans on an early 2014 release date, possibly coinciding with the Warner Brothers release of the fourth movie in the Mad Max saga, Fury Road. We're not sure if it's desperation, but it's surely not a sign of success. Microsoft has announced another price drop for its Surface RT tablet. This time, it's an across-the-board 30% slashing, bringing the price down to $350 for the 32GB entry-level tablet. This follows promotions aimed at educational institutions, as well as a free touch or type cover giveaway. And the deals don't stop with the Surface RT. Microsoft is also offering kickbacks to resellers for selling specific Windows 8 touch-enabled devices from nine different manufacturers. So is Microsoft zooming up their foray into mobile? All puns aside, you can read our full breakdown of Microsoft's self-inflicted misfortune in the computing section right now. And here's one from the I don't really need it, but I gotta have it file. Check out the Squido. It's a throwable panoramic camera. You just throw it up in the air or roll it down the street and it captures 360 degree panoramic images. It uses three high-speed cameras and an orientation sensor to stabilize for spin and roll. It also processes the images, so what you get is an amazingly unique perspective. The Squido is rated for multiple high-G impacts, so you could presumably throw this thing just about anywhere. And with the addition of infrared or low-light cameras, this could be a valuable tool in search and rescue situations. The Squido is only a prototype right now, and there's no word on when we can expect a consumer-ready product. But we're hoping it's sooner rather than later. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.